In this video, I'm going to show you how I retrieve data from a remote REST endpoint that returns JSON data and take that data and insert it into a SQLite database. So in order to do that, let's head over to the Data Dragon Sync Service class. Now this is in the Data Dragon module, and this is probably the most complicated class in the application. So I don't want to focus on that, but I do want to focus on one thing. Right here, this line of code is a line of code that executes a network request against a remote web service, and that web service returns JSON data. I'm using AF Networking to make that call, and it's going to return a response to me that's parsed JSON data. So it's going to return a, a, an NS dictionary to me. Now, this is a command, and it returns a promise. So inside of the continuation, this is where I handle it. So right here, in this line of code, th this is where I actually insert the data into the database. So let's have a look at that. What this does is, we're going to skip down here, it creates another command, an insert data dragon realm task, and it takes as an argument to this method the NS dictionary, which is the parse JSON response from the network request. And it sets that response, that dictionary, as a property on this task and then executes it. So let's take a look at that. What happens here is down here, it simply uses the content resolver, and I'm not going to go into this at all. But this ends up calling a command that actually does the insert into the database. And I've shown you that in another video, how that insert occurs. But what happens here is it must pass along the values that it wants to insert into the database, and that is a dictionary. And it simply executes this method here, which maps the column names in the database that I'm inserting into to the values that come from the JSON response. So here I'm taking the V JSON property and I'm mapping that to the realm version column. Here I'm taking the CDN property in the JSON response and mapping that to the CDN column. And I repeat that all the way through and map all of the columns from that I want to keep from the JSON data into a dictionary that associates the values with the column names. And then when I pass that along and call the SQL insert, it's going to take each of those values and insert them as a row into the database. So it's as simple as that. 